Well, it's thirsty work here running around Epsom just before all the, all the stuff kicks off out on the track. Delighted to say that Zoe Dearsley joins me, brand ambassador for Night Timber. How are you? Very well, thank you. How are you? Very well, thank you. All the better for seeing these glasses <laughs> that are right in front of us. What, what exactly are we looking at? Well, we've got two Night Timber wines here today. We've got our Night Timber Blonde de Blanc Vintage 2014 and we've got our Rosé Multi Vintage and both absolutely sensational wines in very different manners. So we're going to start with the tasting of the Blonde de Blanc, if that's okay with you. Yeah, let, let's go. Um, hey, we're off at you know, Antony. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, sorry, that one. Okay. Yeah, absolutely, sorry. it's no, the no. white. <laughs> so not only is it the white, it's 100% Chardonnay, so it's a, it's a really elegant style. It's a wine that is very close to our hearts because it was actually the first wine we ever made back in 1992. We only make it in exceptional years for Chardonnay, so it's not made every single year, therefore it's not widely available, but it's very, very special when it is made. And it's had six, five to six years aging on its leaves to bring that lovely yeasty, creamy, brioche character to the wine, super elegant, super refined. Very light as well, and perfect Absolutely. for uh, now the sun is out. I mean, yeah, you couldn't ask for more, really, could you? I mean, I, maybe I'd, I'd whip out a lobster or some scallops. Uh, it <laughs> goes you do. very well. As you do. There is food being served here, actually, yeah. at Hillview Restaurant, so well, we've got that food for you. Absolutely. Well, keep an eye out for the seafood, because that is what goes beautifully yeah. with, with the Blonde de Blanc. A match made in heaven, then. Uh, what, what exactly are we looking at for the other? Well, the rosé, so this is a multi-vintage, so it's a sort of consistent house style we're trying to create here. And this is a blend of Pinot Noir, Chardonnay and Pinot Meunier. Please go ahead. Cheers. <laughs> We're not, really we're, not, we're, 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 not, we're not. We're not waiting, though. That's the thing, are we? Yeah. No, fine by me, absolutely. <laughs> and I mean, this wine is an English summer in a glass, and couldn't be more appropriate for a day like today. Um, it's a dry style, but it's just bursting with lovely Pinot characters. You know, cranberry, wild cherry, wild strawberry flavours. Um, and again, it's a great food wine. But I have to say, right now. It's, it's, I'm, very happy by itself. Oh, it's, it's tasting absolutely <laughs> fantastically yeah. well, Zoe. And, and also, I've got to say, I love the Blonde de Blanc as well. It's so elegant. It's going to last a long time, keep aging as well. Absolutely. And I love the freshness of this rosé. It's perfect for today. And one thing I just want to ask you about as well, obviously last year, really baking hot mm. summer. Must have been great in the vineyards for you. Talk about that, but also talk about this year as well, because that mm. might have been more difficult. Yeah, so you're absolutely right. 2022 was a, a scorcher. Um, and in fact, it was a record harvest for us. So keep an eye out. Obviously, unfortunately, you have to wait a good sort of six, seven, eight years. Um, but when, <laughs> when the 22 comes out, it will all of our wines will be, all of our vintage wines will have been produced that year. Um, in terms of this year, it's still very, very early days. But I have to say, actually, the very poor spring that we've had, the non-existent yeah, spring, completely. has resulted in so far so good. Because what it meant was that bud burst happened a little bit bit later so we delayed the start of the, the growing season and it actually once it did start we've come straight into weather like this which has meant that we had very little frost damage very lot of frost threat overall um, so honestly so far going to plan but obviously it's England um, so <laughs> let's not get ahead of ourselves it's always a challenge and until those grapes come in in September October time we cannot breathe a, a sigh of relief <laughs> yeah but it's a great summary up to now I have to say and very yeah. positive as well but I understand as well but that that's much better than I might have thought it might be so that that's really Really yeah. great to hear as well. And you know, it's, it's, it's fantastic to hear all that, and your wines are just tasting great. This is something of a home game for yourself as well. You, you're not located too far away from Absolutely. Here. So, our vineyard is actually 33 miles away. We're down in uh, West Chiltington, West Sussex. That's where the heart of the, the estate lies, the Night Timber Estate. Um, and yeah, it just feels that bit more special being here today because it is the most local race to us. Very much so. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for. Uh, taking me through a complete Philistine. <laughs> Anthony's having a great time. Wines. Rachel, I'm coming with a glass for you. <laughs>